Two of the Eagles' biggest stars will play in the crucial elimination final at Optus Stadium that's less than 24 hours away. Today, our cameras caught the moment Captain Shannon Hearn proved his fitness, but a rising star is out with a surprise last-minute injury. A perfect birthday present. Shannon Hearn turning 32 and proving to his teammates his hamstring is fine. The captain cleared to play against Essendon at Optus Stadium in 24 hours. Nick Natanui will return from injury. Again, after two knees and an ankle, he'll play his first game since losing the 2015 decider. I've been pretty upfront with his progress and everything we planned for him, he, he, he covered off. So once again, he was available probably last week and we've got a good week of training and he's right to go. Oscar Allen is the unlucky eagle. He's injured his knee and will miss the do-or-die match. The Bombers are tonight deep in enemy territory, landing this morning, met by fans at Optus Stadium. I think pressure's on both teams. It's elimination final, you lose, you're out. So anyone in that situation, uh, there's, there's obviously pressure on them. Bounce down is at 10 past six. A big test for Perth's trains and buses. 70% of people will catch public transport to the game tomorrow night? We would expect, to be honest, probably a bit more than that. The fixture clashes with the opening night of the Book of Mormon at neighbouring Crown Casino. Ticket holders can take advantage of free bus and train travel to the game three hours prior to bounce down. The best way to get to the stadium is to get to the city first and take advantage of the express bus shuttles, which will leave every few minutes from St George's Terrace or Adelaide Terrace. And there'll be trains to the stadium leaving Perth Station from 3.55. Just 24 hours out, if you are still chasing a ticket, you will need to be quick. The AFL tells me there are just 50 seats available for sale. If you miss out on those, you'll need to try your luck online. But be warned, unlike Victorians, West Australians aren't protected by anti-scalping laws. That legislation isn't due in WA until later this year. Michael? Michael, thank you for the update.